Are you wondering whether weight loss medication is appropriate for children? Join us as we dive into the controversial topic of whether kids should be on weight loss meds. We'll separate myths from facts and provide expert insights to help you make informed decisions about your child's health. Today I'm going to be discussing weight loss medication for children and answering all of the questions you've ever had. I'll be talking about how it works, what it does inside of your body, why you should still get the treatment if you are no longer going to have children, and more. The chapters of this video are in the description in case you wanted to skip to anything. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And let me know in the comments, what's your opinion of weight loss medication for children? Would you ever give it to your child? Why or why not? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So how do weight loss medications work in children? Weight loss medications can work in children by targeting various mechanisms that regulate appetite, metabolism, or fat absorption. However, it's essential to note that the use of weight loss medications in children is generally considered a last resort and is only prescribed under careful medical supervision. Here's an overview of how weight loss medications may work in children. First, appetite suppressants. Some weight loss medications may work by suppressing appetite, reducing feelings of hunger, and helping children eat less. These medications often target neurotransmitters in the brain, such as serotonin and norepinephrine, which play a role in regulating appetite and satiety, or feelings of fullness. Two, metabolism boosters. Certain weight loss medications may increase metabolism, leading to more calories burned at rest and during physical activity. These medications can help children burn more calories and lose weight more effectively when combined with a healthy diet and regular exercise. Fat absorption inhibitors. Some weight loss medications work by inhibiting the absorption of dietary fats in the intestines, reducing the number of calories absorbed from food. These medications can help children consume fewer calories and achieve weight loss over time. Hormonal regulation. Hormones play a significant role in regulating appetite, metabolism, and fat storage. Some weight loss medications target hormones such as leptin, insulin, or glucagon-like peptide 1, GLP-1, to help regulate appetite and energy balance in children with obesity. Behavioral changes. In addition to their psychological effects, weight loss medications may also influence behavior related to eating and physical activity. Children taking weight loss medications may experience changes in appetite, food preferences, and energy levels, which can contribute to weight loss when combined with lifestyle modifications. It's important to emphasize that weight loss medications should only be used in children as part of a comprehensive treatment plan that includes dietary changes, increased physical activity, behavioral therapy, and family involvement. Medication should not be used as a standalone treatment, but rather as one component of a multifaceted approach to weight management. Additionally, weight loss medications for children are typically prescribed only in cases of severe obesity, when other interventions have been unsuccessful, and when obesity-related health conditions pose significant risks to the child's health. The use of weight loss medications in children should always be guided by healthcare professionals who can assess the child's individual needs, monitor their progress, and make any necessary adjustments to the treatment plan. How do you know if your child is a good candidate for weight loss medication? While determining whether a child is suitable for weight loss medication involves careful consideration of several factors, including their age, health status, weight history, and response to previous weight management efforts. Here are some indicators that may suggest a child could be a candidate for weight loss medication. First, severe obesity. Children with severe obesity defined as having a body mass index or BMI above the 99th percentile for their age and sex may be candidates for weight loss medication. Severe obesity puts children at an increased risk of developing obesity-related health conditions such as type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, or sleep apnea, which may warrant medical intervention. The second thing is failure of lifestyle interventions. Children who have not achieved significant weight loss or improvement in obesity-related health conditions through lifestyle interventions alone may be candidates for weight loss medication. Lifestyle interventions typically include dietary changes, increased physical activity, and behavioral therapy. The next thing is presence of obesity-related health conditions. 
Children with obesity-related health conditions such as type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, or fatty liver disease may benefit from weight loss medication to help manage these conditions and reduce associated risks. The next is the psychosocial impact. Severe obesity can have a significant psychosocial impact on children, leading to low self-esteem, depression, and social isolation. Children who are experiencing significant emotional distress related to their weight may be candidates for weight loss medication as part of a comprehensive treatment plan. Next is family support and commitment. Successful weight management in children often requires the involvement and support of the child's family. Parents or caregivers should be committed to making necessary changes to support their child's weight loss efforts, including implementing healthy dietary habits, encouraging physical activity, and attending medical appointments. Weight loss medication is generally not recommended for use in children under the age of 16 or 18 as they are still growing and developing. There are some developed studies recently in GLP-1s for patients as young as five years old. However, still more research needs to be reviewed. Any use of weight loss medication in this population should be carefully monitored by a pediatrician or a pediatric specialist. The decision to prescribe weight loss medication to a child should be based on a thorough risk-benefit assessment, taking into account the child's individual health status, medical history, and potential risks and benefits of treatment. The child's healthcare provider will consider these factors and work with the family to develop a personalized treatment plan. What does the weight loss treatment or medication for children look like, and how often should these patients be on it? Weight loss treatment for children typically involves a multidisciplinary approach that includes dietary changes, increased physical activity, behavioral therapy, and in some cases, the weight loss medication. The specific treatment plan will vary depending on the child's individual needs, health status, and response to previous interventions. Here's an overview of what weight loss treatment, including medication, may look like for some children. The first is going to be a comprehensive evaluation. This is the first step in developing a weight loss treatment plan for a child. The evaluation includes a review of the child's medical history, physical examination, assessment of growth and development screening for obesity-related health concerns, and also blood work. The second thing is dietary changes. Dietary changes are a cornerstone of weight loss treatment for children. A registered dietitian or nutritionist may work with the child and their family to develop a healthy eating plan that promotes weight loss while ensuring adequate nutrition and growth. This may involve reducing calorie intake, limiting unhealthy foods high in sugars and fats, increasing consumption of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, as well as lean proteins. Perhaps one of the most important things is increased physical activity. Regular physical activity is essential for weight management and overall health in children. A physical activity plan tailored to the child's age, interests, and abilities may be developed with the guidance of a healthcare provider or an exercise specialist. This may include a combination of aerobic activity, strength training, and flexibility exercises. Behavioral therapy is also incredibly important. This can help children develop healthy habits and coping skills to support long-term weight management. This may involve setting realistic goals, self-monitoring behaviors related to eating and physical activity, identifying triggers for unhealthy behaviors, and learning strategies to overcome barriers to success. One of the most important aspects of this is family involvement. Family involvement and support is crucial for the success of weight loss treatment in children. Parents or caregivers may be encouraged to model healthy behaviors, create a supportive home environment, and participate in treatment sessions or support groups with their child. And lastly, the medication. In some cases, despite all this, weight loss medication may be considered for children with severe obesity who have not responded to these interventions. Weight loss medication for children is typically prescribed only under the guidance of a healthcare professional with expertise in pediatric obesity management. The type, dose, and frequency of medication will be determined based on the child's individual needs and response to treatment. After they start, there's going to be regular monitoring and follow-up. So children undergoing weight loss treatment, including medications, should be closely monitored by healthcare providers to assess their progress, monitor for side effects, and make any necessary adjustments to the treatment plan. This may involve regular checkups, laboratory tests, and ongoing support from a multidisciplinary team. So what are the side effects of weight loss medications for children? The specific side effects may vary 
depending on the type of medication prescribed and the individual child's response. Here are some potential effects of weight loss medications for children. Number one, gastrointestinal issues. Many weight loss medications can cause gastrointestinal side effects such as nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or constipation. These side effects may be temporary and typically improve over time as the child's body adjusts to the medication. The second thing is increased heart rate and blood pressure. Some weight loss medications can affect heart rate and blood pressure, leading to palpitations, rapid heartbeat, or elevated blood pressure. These cardiovascular side effects may be more common in certain medications, such as stimulants or appetite suppressants. The next side effect that's most common is insomnia or sleep disturbances. Stimulant medications used for weight loss may interfere with sleep patterns and lead to insomnia or other sleep disturbances. Children taking these medications may experience difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep at night. So make sure if you don't want your kid up, don't put them on the stimulants. Mood changes as well come along with this. Weight loss medications with those stimulants may affect mood and behavior in children, leading to irritability, anxiety, or mood swings. These effects may be more pronounced in sensitive individuals or those with pre-existing mood disorders, and especially in teenagers. All the medications may decrease appetite or increase food aversion as well. So some of these can alter taste perception, leading to decreased appetite or food aversion in children. This may result in reduced food intake and potential nutritional deficiencies if not properly addressed. Headaches and dizziness are often common side effects in certain weight loss medications, particularly in those that affect blood pressure or brain chemistry. Children may experience these symptoms as their bodies adjust to the medication, and usually it's brief and goes away. Because children are still growing and developing, there is a potential risk that weight loss medications could interfere with normal growth and development. Healthcare professionals will closely monitor the child's growth and development while on medications to ensure that any potential issues are addressed promptly. These medications can also have psychological effects. This includes changes in mood, behavior, or self-esteem. So it's essential for healthcare providers to monitor for any signs of depression, anxiety, or other mental health concerns and provide appropriate support as needed. Very rare but serious side effects can come from some medications. These can include allergic reactions, liver damage, or cardiovascular events. These risks should be weighed against the potential benefits of treatment and children should be carefully monitored for any signs of adverse reactions. So now, the ultimate question, should children ever be put on weight loss medications? Well, it's a very yes and no answer. The decision to use weight loss medication in children should be made carefully and only under the guidance of healthcare professionals. I do not believe that a child should ever be on a weight loss medication because I've never met a child who cannot change their lifestyle, their activity levels, and their behaviors controlled by the parents. If they can control that, then 99.9% .9 of child obesity will cease to exist. So that's the basics of weight loss medication in children. If you still have any questions or concerns, comment them below. I'd be happy to answer them. Interested in exploring weight loss medication for your child? Click the link in the description to book a consultation with one of our experts. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.